Well, welcome back to your last lesson, and I'm trusting that since you're still with me, that you've gotten some some decent mileage out of this class. And in this uh, last lesson, I want to continue on the theme of data summarization and roll up, and I want to cover the use of the having keyword and its importance. So this is a, a, a fairly short lesson. What I'd like you to do is open up the query called where underscore vs underscore having 1a. And if you run the query, you'll notice that it's returning back the year ID, the team ID, wins and losses. And if we look at the record set, we'll see that it's doing it for basically all of the years from 1900 forward. But what if I wanted to only return back a record set to see the teams whose wins are 100 or greater? Well, you might say, well, I can just uh, add to my row restriction I can just add an AND statement and say where sum, use the sum function on the, on the wins column where it's greater than or equal to 100. And that might be the first thing that I might try or someone that's, that's unfamiliar with MySQL. And if I do that, I'm getting an error, invalid use of a group function. So you're not allowed to use a group function down in the where statement. Not allowed. So what do you do? So what do you do? Well, you know, you do what anybody would do. You go back to the person asking for this thing and you tell them, hey, I don't know how to do it, therefore it must not be possible. No, that's not what you do. Actually, there is a way to do it, so head on off. Let's head on off to where underscore vs underscore having 1b. And we don't need this any longer. And let's run our query. And we get the results set back we want. We only get the teams back in the last century where the team has 100 or more wins. And how we do that is by adding a having clause. So because we're using an aggregation function, aggregation functions are not allowed up in the where statement, up in the where clause. So what we have to do is we have to put that row restriction down in the having clause. And so it's just a function of putting it down there. That's all there is to it. Uh, like the where, if you wanted to have multiple group by functions that you were doing down there, you certainly could do that. That is all I have. You have one more exercise to do before, for those of you that want to partake and give the final exam a try. That's all we have left. You have one more exercise to go, and uh, thank you for taking the course. And hopefully you'll take other courses that I put together. Take care. Bye. Hope you get a lot of mileage out of my SQL. Take care.